Okay, here you go. Now Z1 is given, Z2 is given, we need to find the total resistance. To find the total resistance, what do we do? We actually add them. So Z equals Z1 plus Z2. What is Z1? 4 plus 5i. What's the Z2? 8 minus 4i. If I add them, 8 plus 4 is a 12. 5i minus 4i is how much? Plus 1i. I can write plus 1. I, I can just write i. Same thing. Yeah? Okay. So this is my Z. And this is the total resistance. I just find the total resistance. Simple. Easy. Find the value of the current. Yes? How I find the value of the current? To find that value, I have the formula because the resistance is given, the voltage is given. I find the total resistance, that one. This is actually Z actually. Resistance, total resistance. I got that value. Now I need to actually find, I need to actually put that in this formula. I equals V over R. What's the V? V is the voltage given, voltage is given. And that is 12 plus I. Can I call it I rather than calling one I? Yes? Okay. Now I got this bit. Now I need to, we don't write it that way. We need to simplify this bit. How do I simplify? If they, they, these can be three resistance, Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3, you have to add them all. Now to simplify that one, what do we do is, okay. Now I got 500 over 12 plus i. The first thing you need to do is you need to put brackets. Then what you do is you multiply and divide with the conjugate. What is the conjugate? Sorry, where should I put minus? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. There you go. Now I got minus. Now the top one, let's multiply the top one. How do you multiply the top one? 500 times 12 is how much? 6,000, am I right? Okay, 500 minus I is minus 500 I. I'm fine with that one. Now let's do the denominator. How will I do the denominator? If you have a look at the denominator, they're exactly same except the middle sign. You see the middle sign is different. You don't have to then do it. Yeah, the easy way that one, this is a difference of two square. You do 12 square, the first term square, minus the second term square. This is the first term minus the second term. First term minus the second term. Okay, when I, when I solve this one, this will become how much? That, can I solve the top one? Why, why, why I cannot? Because they are different two different terms. Okay, that will become 144 minus, that becomes the I square. Now what is I square? How do you know it's minus one? Yeah, you're right, but oh, you just know. You just know. That's good. So you, you just know. Okay. Okay. So because I is root minus one, so I square is actually minus one. So that will become 144 minus minus one. And minus minus makes up. So at the bottom, I got 145. So is that just for I or is that like? If that's a 5i, for example, if that, there was an i there, yeah? yeah. I becomes, i squared becomes a minus one, yeah? In case, if that was like this, 144, 144 minus, let's say, oh, sorry. If that was like this, 13 squared minus four i, or oh, sorry, four, uh, two i squared, that 13 is 169 minus that becomes a four I square. The magic thing is if you want the I square to disappear, just change that sign. Just remember that, yeah? That's it, easy. So we got that one. After this, after this, this is what you do. Okay, then you can do, you can convert that one at 6,000 
divided by 145 <laughs> minus 500 I divided by 145. Anyone with a calculator, give me that answer, please. Forty-one point three eight. Forty-one point three eight. Okay. Yeah, and that one, please. Three point four five. Okay, you're using two decimal places. Okay, so that's it. So you have converted. You have just find me the value of the ground. Forty-one point three eight minus three point four five. Yeah. That's it. Simple. Good.